Wait, that's mine. Wait, I need that's it. Mine. You each have one. No, we, that's mine. We each have I one. I went again. No, freaking no. Eli. I put that back what in did I do? We each had one with one and one. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to Latino Dad Cook-Off, date night edition. Just to be clear, they're not actually dads. They're just training to be dads. Eli Gabriel and Ivan are back to go head to head to see who can make the sexiest meal for that significant other. They each have a special ingredient that they have to add to their dish. And this edition, that special ingredient is our favorite, platanos. I'm definitely gonna win because the other guys definitely suck. Gabriel thinks that he's gonna win because he is the platano king. Like literally when you Google platano, you probably see a face of Gabriel coming up. Do I like platanos? Not really. Do I eat platanos? Not really. Am I gonna whoop Gadiel and Yvonne's ass? Hell yeah. My number one competition is Yvonne. Reason why is he knows how to make mofongo. I don't know how to make mofongo because I'm Dominican. When you got mango, you don't need no mofongo. Where I am from? From Puerto Rico. What do we eat a lot? Platanos. What do I cook? Mofongo mainly, and I've done tostones before. I've seen every episode of Chopped, mostly all the episodes of MasterChef Junior, and I think with all that TV knowledge, I have the skills with these things. I'm confident, I'm ready to take the victory again. I'm happy that we have an outside person to actually hear her real thoughts, and her real thoughts are gonna be choosing me as the winner. Now let the best man win. Alrighty y'all, on your mark, get set, go! What am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? Mm -hmm. Well, let's start with the platanos, I'm gonna grab a few. I'm getting a bunch of stone burger. Where are the few? You're getting like 20. I mean, I just wanna make sure the hell? I don't run out. For date night, what would I wanna do? So I know exactly what I'm doing. So the fun thing about date night is that it can be creative but somewhat fancy. And I don't know, can platano be fancy? I think the fact that I'm out here cooking in general, if a Latino daddy's out here cooking, no matter what it is, it's, well, it's semi-romantic. Like, don't worry about it, girl. I'm out here, I got you. You just get sit down, drink some wine, enjoy yourself while you see the master at work. How do you take, peel right. this? You peel it? How the hell do you peel this? I'm gonna do arroz con guandule. Con guandule. Un mole de guandule. guandule. Tostones. I gotta peel the shrimps. I've never done that. I usually just buy pre-peeled, so that's gonna be fun. How do you take um, this off? Oh, you have to, oh my God, what are you doing? I don't know, how do you peel it? Wow. Well, I assume you peel it like a normal banana, but apparently you don't. You don't help an enemy. What are you making, Ivan? Why do you wanna know? I'm just curious. So I will reiterate the fact that I'm going to make a, a tostone burger. I don't know the side yet, but it's gonna be pretty freaking romantic. I'm gonna do arañitas and I'm gonna cook the shrimp. She's gonna love it because it's gonna be creative and delicious. When it comes to cooking, even though you don't know what you're doing, as long as you do it with love, that's all that matters. Gadiel, where are your special ingredients? The last time you brought like your own special ingredients. I brought my own minced garlic. Himalayan salt, because it's more healthy. Sazon Goya, that's my secret ingredient. I know, I ain't bring nothing. Wow. I was like, you know what, let me just rely on my own stuff. You could have brought your own salami. Ooh, so frito. I don't know if this was a good idea because it's taking me forever to just peel a shrimp. So I'm currently seasoning my patty with for my stone burger. Make it nice and garlicky. That I ain't put no salt yet. Gabriel, as much as you love platanos, do you actually cook with platanos? Of course. I haven't cooked in a long time. But when Ooh. I cook, I hell yeah, I put platanos in there. Yeah, platanos is the best thing ever. Just mix some seasoning, I put pepper, adobo. I'm gonna put some sazon right now. Okay, I think this is enough shrimp, right? We don't have a can opener, so no. you gotta improvise. Dude, you can go get a can opener in the in props if you want, just run. Yeah, I'm sure they have a can. Oh, you know where they have can openers? In the kitchen sometimes. Or yeah. you can do that. This is a date night move right here. <laughs> it's a date night move. <laughs> Where's the salt? Where's the salt? You even wash your hands? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> This is how you do salt, babe. Hey, pobre Ila, you don't know what you're doing. Ay, bendito, mira. Bendito, nene. Bendito, nene, mira que lindo se ve trapando really hard. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm completely unconfident right now. But you wouldn't know because I'm asking you about your day. And she's just there hungry, being like, Take notes. Just cook. I don't know what I'm doing. But you don't know that because I'm too busy looking into your eyes. Oh, really interesting. Oh my God, come on, boil, boil faster, faster. There's one thing I enjoy doing is uh, staying in and cooking inside. Get a $1.99 bottle of wine and just kind of kick it and enjoy yourself. $1.99? Damn. Yeah, man, if it's like a first date or second date or something, it, we go up on the scale of wines the longer, you know, you Ladies, know, watch out. This is the guy you're all sliding into the, his DM. You know how much rent is in LA? This is ridiculous. Jesus, you pay the rent in LA prices and actively date. Here goes the meat, and you get the adobo. Same thing. One more platano, or maybe two, and then I'm ready. 
Yeah, you see that? Who's losing their Latin card now? Okay, so the water's boiling. Time to drop a little shrimp. Oh, Ivan! Is that shrimp? Oh my god, look how they turn pink. That's cool. So I've heard that you just put it for a few seconds and then you turned it off. I'm actually looking good. <laughs> All right. Wait! Oh, never mind. I need this. Wait, that's mine. Wait, I that's need mine. it. You each have no, one. No, that's mine. We each have I one. I went again. No, freaking no. Eli. I put that back there. We do? each had one with one and one. No, no, yeah. No, oh, I, was that the whole no, point? That's my, yeah. Oh, I didn't know. You go get me one. What's wrong what? With you? I didn't know that's how it worked. I brought one and one for each. They give him what a, the pot. They give him the pot. Here's the pot. No, I don't need a pot. I need one of those. First off, Yvonne, you didn't tell me the rules. I didn't know we each had one of one, okay? Okay, let me turn this off before the shrimps overboil. A little bit of butter. So I have the pollo guisado cooking right now. I'm making the rice with peas right now. You're really doing arroz con gandule? Arroz con gandule. Damn. You're gonna make arroz con gandule? Yes. He will really commit it. So I just made my little sauce over here, as you can see. I put it some sofrito, some adobo, some butter, some garlic, some water. Just a little bit of this right. to give it color. Boom. So I'm grating the platano now. Time for me to mash these puppies into a tostone bun. All right, let's see. Let's see, I'm gonna test this. Oh, damn it. So I feel like if I put them all together and then I mash them together and to make one universal damn, big one. really? You're gonna do that? Damn, now I'm insecure. I can't talk if I'm insecure. <laughs> you should have cut them thicker because when you not smash them, they expand. Oh, that makes sense. Well, we can't do that, so this is the world. I world. mean, there's more platanos if you wanna, you I'm know. not gonna start over. Damn, I forgot you gotta cut the bandulas first. Well, there's no going back now, so we're gonna make it work with what we got. I know I have to douse it in water, put it in there, fry it again. My only thing is I gotta make sure this holds to sustain as like a bun. Salt, a little bit more. I don't know if I need to fry it again. It tastes fine. Let me let this shit cook for a little bit. Put the onion in there. We don't have no oregano. Add the sofrito. Bell pepper, green pepper, onions, and other kind. But a little bit, you never know. I'm gonna put some water, a little bit of salt. Entonces, preparo la arañita. I figured out how I'm gonna make this work. I can't make one tostone burger, but I can make smaller tostone burgers. I'll probably add some of this. You know, you just never know. Fry it up for one more minute. Honestly, I think it tastes good, so I don't know why I'm gonna do that. But that's what Google says, so I gotta do what Google says. Yeah, I gotta deep fry this kind of, so. I got a little bit of water. I don't, know that will. I don't think that will. I don't know what I did. I I grab a bunch and then I'm gonna like stick it together. I'll fry it just for a little bit. One last coat. I already feel like I won. Like I never made tostones before, and I'm like I freaking did it, man. Boom. So good. Smells good. You like that smell? Huh? It smells good, huh? It could be anyone's right now because we're all in the same. No, room. it's definitely good because I'm standing right by it. No, definitely. It could be mine. Yeah. Definitely mine. I think my shrimp smells really good, actually. So uh, what are you making? Bro, you've never heard of arañitas, so I'm gonna blow your mind. That's platano? Arañitas. Arañita? Yeah. I don't eat arañas. But you eat a uh, pig's brain? Yeah, I would definitely eat that. I think this is done. Oh, God. Did you see that? Oh, oh! Oh, it's so juicy. Oh, it's a murder scene. Oh, it's a murder scene. You know, this is like at least $18 at some bougie ass spot right here. <laughs> you know they're overpricing for this shit, but you know what, at my house, it's free. Let me taste that shit. Oh, get the hell out of here, no, no. Oh, that's how you know I'm crushing it, because this man's over here trying to eat my platinum. Oh. oh, I feel so confident. I'm gonna try to flip this eye. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm doing my best. This is a fancy ass appetizer right here. Oh, so you're doing an appetizer then? No, this that's is a not meal. A dish. This is a meal. This is you a dish. You might get disqualified because nah, that's bro. not a dish. It's an appetizer. This is a dish. Bro, she's gonna stay hungry. Are you trying to keep it light? It's date night. You're not trying to eat heavy. Are you kidding me? We got things to do. All right, so I don't know how this is going, but hopefully it's going good. Oh, we got wine. We do got wine. I mean, I don't really need it. It's more so for me. So I don't know how to speed this process up. I'm taking forever to freaking fry. So the key to the heart of any Puerto Rican, platanos and mayo ketchup. Oh, you're going again with the mayo ketchup? I wanted it to be special tailored to you, so I call it Maya ketchup. I mean, yeah, I'm doing, doing a Sammy's. Arroco is a little tricky. The worst thing you can have is, is soggy rice. I put more here because she's gonna love them so much, she's gonna want more than just three. I'm not Eli making tiny burgers. The smaller, the more like fancy it is. The smaller, the cheap fur. No, ladies like small things, it's like cute. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed at this because at first I thought it was gonna break into pieces and it's looking really good. 
My tostones are not coming out good. Tostones are basic, man. Who's never done tostones? You can't tell me this shit doesn't look like from the Food Network. I'm gonna have a light, refreshing veggie side. Not a lot of people know of Aranitas, and this is like the surprise. She's gonna fall in love with this and me, hopefully. Alrighty, guys, 10 more minutes. It's almost done, 10 more minutes, and then that's it. And then we're calling it. Hey. What? What you mean 10 minutes? Ain't nobody got time for that. Gadier, are you gonna be done in 10 minutes with that arroz con andule? Because if you're not, then you're uh, disqualified, I guess. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. The hero wandule, pretty much done. That's looking good, Gadiel. Uh, All right, y'all, time's up. Hey. Hello. Oh. How are you? This looks good. Thank you, thank you. So this is for you. I'm excited. I hope you enjoy it. What we got here is Camarones, shrimp. I added some sofrito, some adobo for seasoning. I'm sure as a Puerto Rican, you are aware of what these balls I'm are. I'm so excited. These are arañitas. I'm super excited because I absolutely love arañitas, but because I love them True so Puerto much, Rican. we're gonna see if you made them right. Presentation, looking good. Dun, 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 dun. The moment of truth, the arañita. Ooh, they're crunchy still. <laughs> <laughs> this plate overall is really, really good. Shrimp is amazing. Arañitas are okay. They could uh, use a little improvement. Pero están bien ricas anyway. I'm ready to try the next one. Hola, Gabby. Ahora un plato hecho por un hombre de verdad. This looks really good. Wow. Dediqué mi tiempo. Eh, my extra ingredient is mucho amor. Yo tengo que darle un poquito más amor que lo que le está dando Ila y Iván. A los boricos los dominicanos nos encantaba el amor de guandule. Mm -hmm. Y también una pechuga guisada. Y un tostón. Muchas gracias. The chicken is really good. Los tostones, let's see. Sí, siento tu amor a través del plato, claro, sí. Qué bonito es el amor. Want me to retrieve this for you? Yes, muchas gracias. De nada. I made you something very special. Looks good. I'm excited because I love burgers. I wanted to take a chance, not only on the food, not only on us. You know, we're all taking chances in life, and I really want to take a chance on you by using this dish. I have a beef seasoned to perfection oh. with adobo garlic, as well as a little bit of Mexican-style queso, because I'm half Mexican. I want Sounds to show you good. like both sides of me. Also. And then I have a nice side salad, because I want to keep it light. Looks good. Look at how pink that is. Un fuimo. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good at seasoning. I'm a master seasoner. The three plates have been very good. I was really nervous just because I'm a very picky eater. I thought I wasn't going to like most of it, but I liked all three. Choosing a winner is going to be really hard. It was not an easy decision, guys. It took a lot of thinking. You all did an amazing job. I had to get really picky. The first person to go, I'm so sorry, it's Eli. Yes! 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 Get the out of here! Get the out of here. Oh, sorry. Calm down, calm down. Yeah. <laughs> I am sorry. I don't think it's gonna work out between us. You're great, honestly. You are fantastic. You're a great person. I just don't feel like I'm in the right space to settle down right now. And I just don't think it's gonna work. So the food truck life ain't for me. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. DM me if you want to travel the countryside with your boy. Holler at me. I don't need this. <laughs> I think the winner of this challenge is Gabriel. <laughs> oh, oh. mm, I love you. You finally got it. <laughs> we are the champions. You finally my got friend. it. Oh. <laughs> because he had three elements yeah. and two out of three I really, really liked, I had to give it to Gabriel. That's her, that's her. High five, Gabriel.